Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you might be able to tell, well, you would have saw the thumbnail and the title as well, but anyway. Um, it's going to be a organize with me video because I have this huge basket. Well, it's not that big. It's just filled with a lot of things. This is all like new makeup. Some of it is old things that were in my previous um, like seasonal makeup basket and I couldn't fit them back into my usual collection and I just feel like this basket is getting out of control like I don't even remember what's in here because I can't see anything so I got a new storage container um, I got this at Winners which is uh, TJ Maxx in the US this is the Danielle Creations Cosmetic Organizer. This is the packaging, if you want to know. Um, it was $14.99, which, I mean, these things are so overpriced, but I guess that was okay. Usually I get these at Walmart, and they're around the same price, so... Yeah. But um, I got this one specifically because I have a drawer in my desk that I can empty out and put this in so it's gonna make things a lot more organized and one of my goals for this year is to organize more and know where all my things are and do some decluttering and just yeah becoming a bit more minimalistic um, <laughs> while I show you this huge basket of things but yeah, so let's just get started. I'm just going to pull like randomly and hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, this I kept in the packaging because it's a sample and I don't even know where the sample went. <laughs> so that's an issue. But I kept the packaging because if I didn't, there was nothing on the sample that would tell me what it was. So... I don't know what I should do with this because I'm definitely not going to remember if I ever do end up trying that. But it was a L'Oreal Rouge Signature Matte Colored Ink. Um, this is what the full size looks like. So I, I'm not going to put this back in, like in my drawer obviously but I'm just going to keep it so if when I find that, which I'm assuming it's in this basket. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll just keep that somewhere because I'll need to remember. Um, this next thing is the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I hauled this in a video so I can take it out of the packaging now. <clears throat> it looks like this. I have not tried it yet. Um, do I need this packaging? I could always just look on Sephora if I need more information on it. I keep things in the packaging to remind me to remind myself that they are new products that I haven't used yet usually. Um, but it's becoming like a bit too much because the packaging takes up way too much space. So this is um, yeah something I can put in my drawer. The only place it's gonna fit is right here, so that's where it's gonna go. Um, I also hauled this Fenty Beauty uh, Balm Baby 2 Mini Lip and Face Set. I can take this out of the packaging now because I don't need that. It's uh, The highlighter is Sandcastle and the lip gloss is Sweet Mouth. This is part of the holiday collection. Like, see how much packaging that is for just, like, a little mini gloss and this little highlighter. So I definitely don't need that anymore. And if you want to know, it looks like this. It's very pretty. And this is the gloss, which is, like, a lighter pink than her other one. Yeah, so this might just... I don't know. I'm just going to put it wherever and then we'll see what I have to do later. Um, I have these lashes from Lashaholic. I've actually been wanting to try these because a lot of people are raving about them on YouTube. I got these in a BoxyCharm and these are the Instaglam style. They look very pretty. So 
going to put that. I actually have some other lashes that I would like this to go with. But maybe I could just put that here for now. Um, then I had this Marc Jacobs Sequins Glam Glitter Eyeshadow. This is also a holiday release. I got the shade Pop Rocks. I got this on sale. Um, these are still on sale, by the way. I don't know if they're still actually in stock because Sephora doesn't remove the products that are not in stock. They still show them. So um, this is the packaging. It's very pretty. And it looks like this. Well, it has one of those, like, stoppers in it because it's a loose pigment. I wore this on New Year's Eve, and I really liked it, but it was doing something weird with the other shadows that I tried to pair with it. Like, they were getting, like, all crumbled together. So, I don't know if it was this. Like, maybe you can only use it alone. I'm not sure. But I really liked how it looked because it has like all different color sparkles in it. It's really pretty. Um, so I'll put this here. <clears throat> I hauled this um, a long time ago. <laughs> um, this is the Too Faced Better Not Pout, but if you do keep it glossy lip glosses. I kept the packaging because it's just like so cute. But... Christmas is over. <laughs> Should I take them out? Yeah, I think it's time. Plus, like, all the shades, I believe, are written on the bottom. Yeah, so I don't need the packaging. So, it was these lip glosses that all smell like something different. Um, these I can put... I'll put them with the Fenty Gloss for now. Um, this is a mascara that I don't need to open yet because I already have a few to use up. I got this in my BoxyCharm. It's the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. Um, I don't know what it's supposed to do. I guess volumize. Doesn't really say. Max Pigment Load Booster Brush. It's supposed to be quite lengthening and volumizing, it seems. I have not tried this yet and I don't want to open it because I don't want to I don't want it to dry out before I actually need it, you know? So I'm gonna put this here. <clears throat> I also hauled this MAC um Star Dipped Face Compact in Light, which is so pretty. I actually need to use this. It's another holiday release. This is the packaging. It's so nice. And the inside. Yeah. I just love how it looks. So, um, I guess I'll put this here. I used this in a video. It's the Kaja um, cheeky stamp in the shade feisty. It was very pigmented like it's a dark shade for my skin tone but it when I blended it out it looked really nice so um I don't think I'll put this in this drawer because I've already used it and I know how I feel about it so I'm gonna put it with my other Kaja cheeky stamp. Um, here I have a mini Laneige lip sleeping mask. I actually have another mini, so I don't need this to be out right now. I'm going to put it here. Um, this is the Beauty Blender Power Pocket Puff that I got in the Sephora Favorites Treat Yourself set. Um, I was keeping it in here because it's keeping it clean. But I think I should put this in my everyday makeup drawer. Because I do use powder um, like under my eyes to set my concealer or to if I'm doing like a dark eyeshadow so it catches the fallout. Um, and this is like a nice way to put it on. So I'm going to put that in my everyday makeup drawer so I can try it out. This is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. It's from the same set. It looks like this. 
I have not, have I tried this yet? I don't think so, no. What should I do with this? Hmm. I guess I'll keep it in here. Yeah, with these other lip products. Oh. This is the Milk Makeup Supernova Holographic Stick. I actually did already use this in a video. It came in a boxy charm. Uh, this is not like something I think I would use for this season. This is more like a summery, like festival type product to me. Not that I even go to festivals, <laughs> but yeah. So I think that can, it doesn't really need to go in this because I've already used it before. So I'm gonna try and fit that somewhere in my collection. This is a Dose of Colors liquid matte lipstick in the shade Date Night. This also came in a boxy charm. I already know I love this formula. This can go in here because I have not used it yet and I don't really need to pull in a, another red liquid lipstick because we all know I have too many of those. So I'm going to put this in this drawer which is already getting full of lip products. Here's another lip product. I tried this just like when I was at home one day because I just wanted to see what it was. It's the Incredible Rollerball Gloss. So it's a lip gloss but in like a rollerball, you know, like um, how we used to have in the early 2000s. <laughs> um, yeah, I remember I liked how it felt but it it's more like a bomb feeling. Should I put this in here? Because I have tried it already. I think I could put this in my collection, like my main collection. Oh, this I bought so long ago, obviously have not opened it yet. I wanted to get it for a drugstore video and I got it for $4.99, which I was like, that is a steal because it's the L'Oreal Paris. Is this? Yeah. Yeah. L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Slash Paradise, which everyone is raving about. And it came with the base. So, and for $4.99, that's like crazy, right? That's less than just the mascara. So, obviously, I have not done that video yet, but I should. But I don't want to open another mascara just now because I'm still trying to use the Milk Makeup. Uh, Kush mascara and my it cosmetics mascara and both of those are getting like Kind of dry, so I just want to finish them I thought you were filming a video. I am. Oh. You just ruined it all. <laughs> um, yeah, so after I was rudely interrupted um, I don't know what to do with this <laughs> Because it's not gonna fit in here, but I also don't want to open it I think I'll just put it here for now and decide later. <clears throat> this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash Lipstick in the shade Pink Sands. This is from a, mm, a long time ago. <laughs> uh, but I got this at the end of summer and then I felt like it wasn't a winter product so I just kept it in that box. But I got it mostly because there's a turtle on it you can see and the shade does look really nice it's a light like pinky nude shade um let me just that's what it looks like this could be like really any time of year lipstick for me mm. but I haven't used it yet so I'm gonna put it in here oh this is super exciting. I have the mm, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundations. My cousin gave these to me and she's the best. So if you're watching, hello. <laughs> I don't know if she wants me to name her, but yes, I love these. Um, well, I mean, I haven't tried them yet, <laughs> but I've been wanting to and she was kind enough to 
give them to me. So I have two shades, R220, which looks like this, and I have Y215, which looks like this. So I think the Y means yellow and the R means red, like the undertone, um, because I have the Makeup Forever Water Blend Foundation in the shade R210, I think, or is it? yeah, R210. So when she asked me like which shades I wanted, I was like, well, I guess R220 because the R210 is honestly maybe half a shade too light for me but because that foundation is so sheer it doesn't really matter but so I asked for R220 but then she told me she uses this one uh Y215 to like cancel out redness so I was like oh maybe that's a better idea so I have two of them I haven't used them yet because I've actually been wanting to do a video, a full face of makeup forever, and I wanted to use these for that. Yeah, I need to do that video because I have so many makeup forever products that I need to use. Does this fit here? No. So I think I'll keep these aside. You know what? I should make this basket things that I need to film videos about instead of just like a th place where I put random stuff. <laughs> because that would make more sense in my brain. But yeah, so I have that. Oh, and she also gave me this, I think just this one, yeah. The Makeup Forever Artist Nude Cream um, Liquid Lipstick. Skin Flattering Liquid Lipstick in the shade Undraped. I think I asked for this as well, specifically this shade. Yes, I did. Because all the other shades in this look like things I owned already and it's supposed to be like a nude lipstick range so that makes sense like it's not gonna be all crazy colors that I've never tried but I wanted this one because it looks like a nice like vampy shade and that was like a long time ago that was like in the fall <laughs> so um, I really want to try this though I'm gonna put this in this lip product area for now and we'll see what I do because I also have to redo my seasonal makeup basket. It's the new year. I mean, it's still winter, but I think I can um, get rid of some things because I've been keeping things in rotation because I haven't used them since like the spring. And yeah, I also need to declutter, but anyway, yes. So there's that. I don't need this packaging anymore. Oh, this is the Too Faced Peach Perfect uh, Loose Setting Powder. It's a mini size from a Sephora favorite set. So I haven't opened it yet. I don't need to open it because... Or did I use this in a video? I don't remember. But I don't need to open another powder right now. So I'm going to keep this in here. Ah, I wish it fit there. Oh, there. Okay. What's this? Oh, a little milk makeup. Um, cooling water. This here. This is like a good product to use before I put makeup on, I think. Um, I do want to try this. I'm going to put it in here. Because what I do when I do my seasonal makeup basket is I pull things from different sections. So this will count as a section that I pull from because I always choose like a few new products as well. Uh, this I've used in a video already. It's the Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow Mini Palette. So there's a very glittery highlighter here and a very uh, metallic blush topper I guess you would say um yeah I did use this so I think I could put it this will probably fit in my highlighter drawer 
This I also hauled in a video. It's the Too Faced Tutti Fruity Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo in the shade Apricot in the Act. I got it at Winners for, or Marshalls. I think Marshalls. For $12.99, which is good for Too Faced in Canada. Um, also because we can't get the Tutti Fruity collection since it's an Alta exclusive and there's no Alta in Canada, which I complain about in every video, so you probably know. But this is the packaging. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this in here. I don't feel like this is very wintry, so I don't feel the need to use it right now. This is from forever ago. <laughs> Um, I think I also wanted to use this for my drugstore video. It's the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer that everyone's saying is amazing and like a dupe for the Tatcha one, which is like, uh, extremely overpriced. But yeah, so I actually do have a sample of the Tatcha one and I kind of want to compare them to see if it really is a dupe because this is pretty cheap. I got it at Ulta in the US. I don't remember. I think it might have been like six something, which is not that cheap. I mean, considering like the conversion, but yeah, I have not used this yet, but I don't need this packaging anymore. There's only one shade of this. It's universal sheer. So yeah. Oh, come out. There it is. So I will put that with the L'Oreal mascara for the drugstore video that I need to do. Next I have a Kaja Beauty Bento in the shade Poppy Champagne. I think I have used this already. This is very spring summer to me, but it has three um, eyeshadows. I think there's mattes in this. Yeah, these are the newer ones that they added matte shades to. There you go. So this will go in here. Uh, this is a lipstick, a Revlon, um, what are these called? I guess matte lipstick in the shade Power Move. My aunt gave this to me. It looks really pretty. I love shades like this. So this is more like a fall shade to me, but yeah. Um, I'll put this in here because I haven't used it yet. <clears throat> oh man, this is getting wild. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, obviously, in the shade Ladybird which I hauled in a video. I don't need this packaging anymore. It looks so pretty. This will go in here. I have a bunch of mini lip products from the Sephora lip kit this year. The Sugar Rose Balm that I know I like already. The Fenty um, Mademoiselle lipstick in Flamingo Acid. I wore this in my Sephora Favorites video and I love this. And the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm, which I haven't tried yet. So these can all go in here since they fit there. Oh, here's the L'Oreal, um, the sample that I was trying to find. It does say Rouge, Sig Rouge Signature on it, so I guess I'll remember what it is. I don't need the package. That can go in here as well. Oh, then we're getting to some more, like, some old things that are in here because they were in my previous makeup basket and they don't fit back in my collection. <laughs> so, this is the Becca Ocean Jewels Highlighter Palette, which I love for summer because it's, like, colorful but not too like colorful, if you know what I mean. Like it doesn't leave like a strip of color on your skin. Um, so I really like this. I might have to keep it in here since I don't know where else it's gonna go. 
Then I have the Artist Couture Spotlight Glitz. No. Artist Couture Diamond Lights Finisher in Spotlight Glitz. I used this in my last video. I really... Well, I just used it as like a topper on another shade that was already sparkly. So I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I mean, I know I liked it, but I don't know like... I don't know. I just haven't used it enough. So this will go in here. Um, then I have the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Concealer. Which I am debating if I should just get rid of my old concealer. It's not officially empty. But I had to take the stopper out of it. Because there was so much more product in the tube. But I couldn't get to it because of the way like the tube was all the product was like around the sides so I took the stopper out and I've been using it like that but I think the formula is getting like old because it's starting to not blend as easily yeah you know what <laughs> I'm just gonna that's gonna go in an empties video because I'm done with it um so I'm gonna put this in my um everyday makeup drawer as my concealer um, this has been in there forever. This is the Urban Decay Lo-Fi Lip Mousse Modern Matte Finish Weightless Waterproof <laughs> in the shade Frequency. This is definitely a summer shade for me. That's what it looks like. Um, I do have another one of these in my current makeup basket, which is more like a mauve nude. So this one will go in here. With the lip products. Um, then I have my Flower Beauty palette, which I love. Unfortunately, this like bronze shade came out. But I love the highlighter in here, and the blush is very nice for like spring and summer. So that will stay with the Becca. Then I have some Too Faced palettes that I can't fit anywhere. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. This is actually the first eyeshadow palette that I ever purchased. Um, it's gonna have to stay with these products, and so will the Too Faced Peach Perfect, no, Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, um, that's gonna stay in here. Then, this I love, this is the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Go Palette, I love this. Um, but this is definitely more of a spring-summer product for me. So that can go back in my collection with these other things that don't fit anywhere. And then I just have some more, like, Sephora favorites randoms. So I have another Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Very Victoria. I think this one's more like a mauve. Yeah. Looks like this. That can go, like, in my usual lipstick drawer, I think. Um, and then some things that I haven't used yet. The Too Faced, um, it's a mini Sex on the Peach lipstick. That can go in here. A Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade 96, which is more like a dark red. That can go also in here. The Melt Matte Lipstick in the shade Old Rose. I actually really want to try this. That's the shade. This is art. See, it's already getting full of lip things. So I'm going to have to use up another drawer for lipstick. Um, the Violet Voss eye topper in the shade dream I really I think I like this a lot when I used it yeah 
Um, so I have used this already. I think this will fit in my other like regular drawer that's full of liquid eyeshadows. And lastly, the Farsali Liquid Glass Radiance Make Skin Serum. This is a primer. I have not used this yet, so I will put it in here. So that's it. This is what the finished product looks like, which is like a lot better to the eye. Like I can see. The only thing is like obviously the lip products. I have way too many of those. But I'm gonna like rearrange this some more and then show you what everything looks like when it's done. And I will be back. Oh, I think I was not recording that whole time and I just showed all of this. Yeah. So here's what it looks like now. I categorize everything so it's easier to see what I have. So in this section here is all like face products. Here is my lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. Here are just minis that fit really nice in these squares. <laughs> Here's all eye products. And then lip glosses, um, lip balm, and that Urban Decay uh, Lo-Fi lip product here. So yeah, this looks way better to me. And I can see every product that's in here. Well, except for the lipsticks, but yeah, I'll never f see all my lipsticks. I have way too many. And then this basket looks like this now, which is so much better. So I just have some old products that I don't know where else to put and some products that I need to remind myself to use in videos. So I think that was pretty successful. Um, so I'm going to put this stuff away and then I also need to do my seasonal makeup basket. I need to do some decluttering because it's getting kind of crazy. And yeah, but that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, like, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!